Hello, my friends. I hope you are doing well. This is video two in a series of videos I'm doing on how to combine paper planning with technology. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some simple tips for how to use Microsoft Outlook to be more productive, including how to use tasks. If you are new here, hello. I do videos on how to be more productive. If being more productive interests you, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I prefer paper planning, but my job uses Microsoft Outlook, and I found that Microsoft Outlook is used on most jobs. Technology has great benefits, but we also understand that there is just something about writing it down. There is something about writing that commits it more to memory. It's more tangible. You can pick up and touch and feel your planner, but you can't feel technology. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about using technology to just help you use Microsoft Microsoft Outlook to be more productive. If you appreciate me making videos like this, please consider making a $2 donation by clicking on the thanks button located underneath this video. Now, if you were using your paper planner, the one of the first things that everyone does in a paper planner is write a to-do list. Well, in Microsoft Outlook, a to-do list is called a task. A task is simply an item that you create that you want to track until it's completed. So to get to your task, what you're going to do is in the left hand lower corner, you're going to hover over the icon and click on task. By the way, I am using Microsoft Outlook for Mac. If for some reason you have a different version or if you're on a different operating system, your navigation may slightly differ from what's being shown here, but it shouldn't differ by much. So what we're doing here is we're making a to-do list by using the task feature in Outlook. So from the task pane in Outlook, you're going to click on new task. A new task will open. Click in the subject field to add a subject to the task. Now from here, you can enter a due date for this task, a start date for the task, and even a reminder for the task. And you can see a list of all your tasks right here in the middle. Now, if you want to get reminders on your cell phone about this scheduled task, you can certainly do that by downloading the Outlook app. Now, this video is about how to combine paper planning with technology. Personally, I don't like to put audible reminders on my task in Outlook. Anything that's going to give me an audible notification, I really think hard about that before I do it. I prefer to write my to-do list down in my planner. The reason why is there was a time where I was using technology heavy and I had all these reminders going off on my cell phone. And you know what happened? I became numb to reminders. Every time I looked around, another reminder was going off and I just said to myself, oh, that's probably just another reminder for something that I don't even really need to do right now. So a lot of things fell by the wayside like that. I prefer the quietness and the comfort of putting my to-do list on paper. However, if I had to physically be on a WebEx call, now that would be an appointment or a meeting, not a task. Or if I had to physically be somewhere. I do use Outlook for reminders for that, but just to do a regular to-do list, no. Now, if you want to switch to task quickly in Microsoft Outlook from anywhere in Outlook, all you have to do is hold down the control key and press the number four, and it will take you to the task module quickly. Is there a tip about tasks that you have that help you be more productive? If so, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments, or if you don't have a tip, feel free to say hi. I love talking talking to you guys. Please don't forget to like this video. If you didn't catch my last video on other tips for using Microsoft Outlook, I will place it here on the screen for you. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.